first question, the reason why the motion is on the agenda. Could you just yeah. speak a little louder? Sure. The uh, first question, the reason why the motion is on the agenda is because we said from the last meeting that uh, you're correct, Ingrid Shepard uh, resignation. Ingrid did resign. She submitted her resignation, and that's why it's on the agenda for us to accept it. Oh. Okay? So that's the first. The second question is, um, as I explained, I'm not sure if you were here when we discussed that, um, the reallocation of funds from GSSD to GUCDC to GSSD. I know about that. Okay. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just asking for a budget for that money. Mm -hmm. The budget was submitted. Um, weren't you on the board of GU? They have the budget. I'm not on the board of GU. I said, weren't you on? I'm not on the board of GU, and so I don't okay. know, or I wouldn't ask. It's in the the announcements, 26,000. But it doesn't say how it's going to be spent. Right. You have a chance to ask your question. I'm answering her. No, I don't, um, think, you're I don't think you understand me, Trapita. I asked. No, I want to address, I, I understand you clearly, very clearly. I understand you every time you ask Well, this is questions. 20 minutes you're giving us for public comment, and I don't want to waste anybody else's time. Yeah. Are we going to get a budget on how you're going to spend the $26,000? No. It's not no. about me being on GU. We've already made the arrangement with Commerce and GU. No, we, we are. I want to address no. your question about the cleaning. The first thing about the cleaning, we have, and we said in the, in the announcement, Friends I didn't ask a question town. about cleaning. No, you did make a comment about cleaning. I don't think you want your, your question answered. I want the question answered on what is the budget for $26,000, and I'm sorry to be it so for insistent on that. It is for cleaning. That's the biggest piece that's on the budget. There's Could you post the that budget. budget? There's a dumpster. Could you please post that budget? Calls. No, we, we're not going to post the budget. But um, uh, we will. It's we're back in Germantown. It's public money. Yeah. 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 It's exactly. that same thing <laughs> happened. Nothing to do with it. <laughs> History repeating itself. Uh, Jamar. Um, I'm not asking him. I'm asking the board. I am helping the organization as a courtesy to help keep it afloat. Um, I am not seeking any financial compensation during this consultation. Um, I am a lifelong resident of Germantown. I grew up here, I went to school here before the school was closed. Um, the organization needs help and I am trying to provide that help to the best of my ability. Um, but you were here less than six months. Allison, you do not own a property, you do not own a business. We answer your questions as a courtesy, and that's that. I don't know what the public meeting is. It is a public meeting. If you're not going to allow me to complete my sentence, then I don't have to bother answering you at all. Okay. You run people nice. away. That's not nice. No. Yeah, and I would rather you go ahead and answer that. Let's just leave that alone. I'd rather you. So I, I will come just back have to you, Ms. Haskins. I just want to make sure it's Just a legal have point of order. Yes, go ahead. You mentioned that Jamar is a volunteer consultant and that uh, because he's not getting salary, I guess people are feeling that there's no reason for accountability. And yet there is reason for you to be very, very careful whenever you have a consultant, whether volunteer or not, because that consultant influences the board and that consultant has a lot of power in the work that you're doing. And so I think it's important for the community to understand the process by which you hire or you appoint anyone. And I think that was the point of the question. But I wanted to make the point that just because someone is volunteer does not mean that they're not exercising power. I understand. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, we explained in the last board meeting um, that Jamar was going to be working through to the authorization. We also ha will have an admin person that will be available at least three days a week helping the organization, which is everything we indicated in the last week. And how will that person be hired? I think what people are saying to you, Trapita, is you've had four directors, three of them, no one knew how they were hired. And so now people are very tense about the process. And you keep talking about the process, so it's important can I, to can share I just, that. Can I just make a point just, just yeah. to um, get beyond this? You know, we've had four directors. How many directors has the Mount Airy Bid had? Can you, do you know? Three Mount Airy Bid? Four. Well, you've been around 10 years. I don't really 
I've been in, in that two. 10 years. Four. How many? Two. Four. four. I can name you. At least, at least four. Okay. How about well, you Chestnut? were around five years. How about Chestnut Hill? But, but Cindy, years. I'm not talking about how no, many. But, no, I, I understand that. I'm talking I'm, about how. I, I understand that, but I just want to really put it into some context. Yeah, but that's 10 years, four people who were hired in an open process. I and was there's there. Been there's been visible. And what, what, what I'm asking you to be clear about okay. is having an Africa. open process. <laughs> Excuse me. I, my point is not who you hire, it's how you hire. And I've heard a lot of complaints about how the hiring has happened. And so I'm just making certain people know from a legal standpoint, the person in this position has power. And it, whether you have 10 directors, if they're hired openly, no one can complain. Right. It's our fault. It's a, I'm sorry, it's never advertised. Yeah, Jamar was the interim director, so he wasn't the director. And I do want to say I've worked in nonprofits for over 25 years, and directors come and go. That's no excuse. Most of the organizations in Germantown have had different directors. I'm not talking about I understand that. what you're saying. Okay. I really do understand. Let's stay relevant. But I, I, I want to stay relevant too, but you know, I've sat in these meetings many, many times. I've been a part of many organizations in Germantown. I'm looking at the faces that look like mine around the table, and I'm trying to understand why every time there are faces that look like mine around the table, that there's a, there's a venom. There's always a extra piece that yeah. comes with it. I, I've never experienced, I, I mean, we're answering your question every time it's the same question. <laughs> <laughs> David Rose was hired without any second. open process. Just hold on. I just want to be clear because this is something that we don't But do. it's got nothing to do with race. It's and not, I really I think never that's said the word. I never you said it looks like you. I want to know why, why. This looks, like a, this looks like a very diverse crowd right here. Yeah, this I'm not, very I'm not, diverse that's looks to like, say right, right, It looks Venom? like it looks like it. Don't mean Venom? it is. It looks like it, but don't mean it is. Yeah, but nobody's yeah, talking can, about race. Like race. I, I, I actually am, because I'm trying to understand this. Oh, when it looked like you, was that race? I think we're off topic here. Look. Oh, this is the bottom line. Are do people want to get down with this or not? Do you want to help with this or not? Yes. Do we want to make it successful or not? Yes. yes. That's the bottom line. Yes. That's all that matters.